Serbian traditional food. Serbian traditional cuisine includes a treasure trove of flavors and aromas created by a mixture of influences of various people who passed through here and lived in this area. As in culture in general, this combination of different influences has resulted in originality. So the rich Serbian table offers unforgettable tastes that can only be felt in Serbia. Serbian cuisine is characterized by a very diverse, strong and spicy food. It is a combination of Greek, Bulgarian, Turkish and Hungarian cuisine. It is dominated by the use of meat, dough, vegetables and dairy products. Food preparation is the special part of Serbian tradition and culture. In Serbian villages, the kitchen was also called the house and the central part was the fireplace, which was an important cult place next to which everyday life took place and the whole family gathered. The specialties that you must try in Serbia are definitely burek, moussaka, gibanica, grilovano meso, roštilj, karadjordjeva šnicla, pršuta i kiselo mleko. Drinking coffee is a centuries-old tradition in Serbia, so do not miss the homemade coffee with baklava, vanilica, or rahat kolum, while the kind hosts will first offer you sweets and water in their homes. The national fruit in the Serbia is considered to be the plum, from which the widely known brandy plum is made, which in a way has become one of the symbols of Serbia. Do not leave Serbia without drinking at least one. For many specialties of Serbian national cuisine, there is no correct word in the dictionaries or foreign languages, nor a taste with which they can be compared. So it's best to come and try them out. Now, I'm going to teach you how to make one of the Serbian cuisines called Kolač Savištima. You're going to need oil, yogurt, flour, sugar, eggs, baking soda, and of course, cherries. First, you're gonna break the eggs and wix them. Then you're gonna add sugar and wix them with the eggs. Then you're gonna add oil and yogurt and wix them again. Uh, then you're gonna add flour and for the last time, wix them. Then you're gonna put them in a bowl uh, where you put the cherries on top. Then you're gonna put it in the oven and the first 10 minutes it should be in the 200 degrees Celsius. And then after 10 minutes, put them for 20 minutes in 180 Celsius degrees. Then you're gonna take it out and it should look like this. You're gonna cover it with powdered sugar, cut it with a knife, and there you go. Thanks for watching.